guys it's hazel welcome back to my channel if you're not subscribed already what are you doing so i looked really really looked i look really crusty right now like look at this look at this what is this what is this i look bad right now basically so i'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how i catfish the internet and more specifically instagram because that's really where i do the most catfishing because i look like this the other um 95 of the time i'm gonna make this intro really short because I'm not trying to be like this on camera the whole time. But basically, I'm going to an event today and I have to, you know, do my hair, my makeup, my outfit. Right now, I'm literally chilling in like my old high school senior shirt, sweats. I got my Jack Skellington slippers on and a little sweater. I have a whole cute outfit I'm about to change into. Then I'm going to do my makeup, my hair. And I think I might also bring you guys along with me to the event just to vlog a little bit. You know, I know you guys like vlogs. I have to do this because I can't be out here, you know, looking crazy in public. It's 2020 and I refuse to be anything but the baddest and most confident version of myself. Period. Let's start getting ready because... I gotta leave my house by 3.30 and it's about to be like 1 o'clock and I take forever to get ready, so. I'm like using my window for natural lighting, but also there's like peaks of sunlight that's coming in, so I don't know if it's like good lighting or not. I hope it's good. Sorry if it's not. Anyways, let's get into this makeup portion. I'm gonna be doing talking, which I haven't done in a minute, but I know you guys love to hear me talk. That was a joke. I don't even like hearing my own voice when I'm editing these videos, to be honest. So first, I'm going to start with my moisturizer. This is the CeraVe moisturizer. It's really, really good. I recently switched my skincare from Cetaphil to CeraVe because I just feel like it did more for my skin. And I had the CeraVe, like, travel size uh, facial products, like the cleanser and the moisturizer. And that's what I would use anytime I would travel. And I noticed that it kept my skin really, really clear during my travels. So I decided to buy the actual full-size product and switch. And I'm actually really happy and I've been liking it so far. So maybe I'll do a skincare routine soon because you guys have also been requesting it on my Instagram tutorials um, that you like, you know, gassing my skin up. Thank you. I'm gonna go in with this Laura Mercier hydrating primer. As you can kind of tell, I like to use a lot of hydrating um, and like glowy sort of products because I have very dry skin. For the foundation I'm using that I've been loving, and I just recently tried this like a couple days ago, but it's like my favorite foundation right now, is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Glow Foundation. This is like light to medium, but it just makes your skin look so, so glowy, and it covers like all of like your imperfections as well. It's just really, really nice, and your skin looks like skin. Um, I feel like I've been getting a lot of compliments on my skin because of this foundation. I'm in the shade 320, by the way, for those of you who maybe are a similar shade and complexion to me you know how like foundation gets cakey like around your nose or just around like certain areas of your face this foundation does not do that looks so good even in the sun look at that okay now that we have our foundation on i'm gonna go in with a concealer that i've also been loving recently this is the catrice cosmetic liquid camouflage concealer and it's in the shade 020 light beige I feel like this is what really makes me look not dead because I don't have the best sleeping habits. I need to get a color corrector because I swear to God, even when like I, you know, maintain my peach fuzz so like, you know, I don't have hair and stuff there, I feel like I still, it's just dark still. So I feel like I need to get like a color corrector. So I like to take the small end of this and just blend. So after that's all blended out, I like to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I just dip into this and set under my eyes. 
I recently liked using this powder instead of a loose powder. I mean, I like using loose powder as well, but I feel like this powder is really nice. Now, I'm gonna move on to my eyes. Uh, I do makeup in like a random order. I really don't have like an everyday order of how I do my makeup. Um, it's just really whatever I'm feeling at the moment. So, I'm gonna go in with my little blending brush and I'm gonna be using the Becky G Times ColourPop palette right here. Super cute. Um, I am basically doing a makeup look that I did yesterday. It's the it's the picture that I'm using for the thumbnail of this video. I'm doing the exact same makeup look. I really like the way that I made my face kind of like transform. Like I gave myself kind of like a fox eye, and it just made my face look really, really good. Since I like that makeup look so much, I'm just gonna do the same thing I did and do it today. I'm going in with the shade Little B right here, and then I'm just gonna put that in my transition. I'm just gonna. Put that in my I'm gonna put that in my crease as my transition shade. We're keeping this really soft, just using windshield wiper motions. I'm honestly not even gonna use that much of it because I'm gonna go in with another color and that is going to be Chula right here, which is a bit of a darker brown. And I'm gonna put that in my crease as well. And that's gonna be the last shade that we put in our crease. I'm gonna take this little angled brush and I'm just going to dip into the shade Ru Ruka. 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 It's like this dark brown shade. And then I'm going to start creating a little faux wing. And I'm gonna be bringing it like in, inward, like creating like this little. Um... Yeah, whatever that is, little inner corner thing. I did the eyeliner. Cute, cute. I actually don't think it's that bad. I did it pretty even, so it's good. So next, I'm gonna move on to my eyelashes. So I'm gonna be curling my lashes and doing some mascara. So I'm gonna curl these babies up to Jesus. Okay, so now that we curled our lashes, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline False Seeds Mascara. And this is waterproof, by the way. I like waterproof because it holds a curl better than, you know, just makes your lashes stay up all day. And if you ever cry, you'll be fine because this is waterproof. So now I'm going to be adding these lashes. So basically I had a pair of lashes that were kind of like, they were a little old and stuff, um, but they were still like, they had a couple few good uses in them. So I decided to cut them and make them like individual like little lashes. So like just lashes you can put on the end just to give you like more of like a, like kind of like that facelift look. And also just to just, you know, like, I feel like when your lashes look like really wispy on the end, it's really pretty and natural. takes like 800 tries but we actually did it in like one and it still looks like very natural and pretty and you can still see the eye look i love that personally i just really hate being rushed so i'll start getting ready super early just so like i don't feel overwhelmed sometimes i'm still even late when i start getting ready early that's the sad part so these are the lashes they look super pretty really natural and it just gives you that really pretty like cat eye fox eye whatever you want to call it 
effect i just really like how it just snatches your like eyes right there so the eyes are almost done i'm just going to be adding some lower lash mascara because i don't really put eyeshadow i didn't put eyeshadow last time i did this look on the bottom i just put some mascara now i'm going to be doing my eyebrows my eyebrow routine is super simple i just use some clear brow gel really nothing crazy this is by benefit and it's the 24 hour brow setter i just like to comb them up and out my eyebrows are 100 percent not even but they try you know i'm using this um bronzer by colourpop it's also the becky g times colourpop collection it's pressed powder bronzer in 310 The blush I've been using is the Laura Mercier Blush Color Infusion in Peach. I really like any peachy tone blushes. That's usually the only colors that I use for blush. And this one has um, a bit of shimmer in it. So it's really pretty. It's kind of comparable to the um, Milani Luminosa blush. That's also a really good blush. Um, it's probably even like a dupe for this one. Probably an exact dupe. Really pretty. And just looks nice on the skin as well. the finishing spray i'm going to be using i like to set my face um before i put my highlighter on just so everything melts together and stuff is the wet and wild rose three in one photo focus setting spray and i'm going in with the revlon skin lights prismatic highlighter in 202 twilight gleam and this is also a really good um product that i just started using recently they sent me this and the foundation like literally a couple days ago and i was like oh let me try it and i was so pleasantly surprised with how everything looked now for lips i'm going to be using the mac cosmetic spice lip liner Okay guys, so I just did my hair off camera because my camera died. Um, I used this new like hair waver thingy. It kind of worked. Like it didn't work in the beginning because I um, didn't know how to use it. And also it just was like, I didn't let it heat up enough. So it wasn't really working that well. But it actually turned out like pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. I used some way... Um, wave spray to just kind of like you know bring it more to life and just make sure it stays in place and this is the hair and makeup and i have these earrings i borrowed from my mom and i'll show you guys the outfit in a second you can kind of see it but not really but yeah this is the hair i'm like obsessed I actually think I'm gonna do this like all the time. What the hell? This looks so cute. I really wish I could show you guys like a tutorial, but literally it was not working. Like I did not know what I was doing for like a good 15 minutes because it was my first time using it. But definitely if you guys want to see like a tutorial, the more I use it, I'll probably get better at doing it. Let me know. Alright guys, so I'm finished getting ready. I'm gonna try to show you guys my outfit maybe at the event or something because I don't really have a mirror with good lighting that I could show you guys what I'm wearing. But I'm gonna take you guys to the event and yeah, it should be really fun. I'm really excited. First event of the year. I got pretty like a girl. And he got vice towards the tail. See both sides like the nose. See on both sides like the nose. Come and let's do the water.